Farmers are speaking out about that trade bailout. Our KPAX's Russell Nemitz has their reaction. Well, after a lot of speculation, the Trump administration has unveiled a new $16 billion trade aid program for U.S. farmers hurt financially by the ongoing trade war with China. During remarks at the White House, the president said he's defending American farmers from unjustified trade retaliation. So we will ensure that our farmers get the relief they need and very, very quickly. It's a good time to be a farmer. We're going to make sure of that. So today I'm announcing that I have directed Secretary Purdue to provide $16 billion in assistance to America's farmers and ranchers. It all comes from China. Highlights of the second trade mitigation package include $14.5 billion in direct payments to farmers based on the county-based payment rate for their planted acreage for 2019. This is to avoid planting distortions by requiring farmers to plant a crop this spring. Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue praised the president for supporting U.S. farmers, but Montana Grain Growers Association President Lyle Benjamin of Sunburst told me farmers like him would rather have higher market prices instead of government payments. It's nice that the president recognizes the significant damage that's happening as part of this, but at the end of the day, really what we want is, is our trade deal to open back up again and, and our market to flow unhindered. It's, I think that most Montana farmers would say we can get far more out of the, the market than we can out of a, a government aid package. Under the second trade mitigation package, the new payments will be capped at the total amount of eligible acreage a farmer planted last year. Eligible crops in our region include alfalfa hay, barley, canola, corn, pulses, soybeans, and wheat. And USDA says payments could start as early as July or August. In Billings, Russell Nemitz, MTN News. The announcement marks the second move in the past week by the White House to soften the blow on U.S. farmers from trade conflict. Last week, the Trump administration struck a deal with Canada and Mexico to drop the steel and aluminum tariffs imposed a year ago. U.S. agriculture groups hope that move will encourage Congress to ratify the new U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade agreement.